Hey, welcome back everyone. So in this part of the series, we are going to create a weapon switching script. So we'll be able to switch between different weapons using the mouse wheel. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. As you can see, this is what we left off from the previous video. We've added this heavy weapon and we've created a gun script to handle the shooting so now I'm able to shoot using the left mouse button or the X key on the gamepad and we've added the muzzle flash and the impact effect as well so let's go ahead and add two more weapons under the sci-fi weapons pack we have a pistol, a rifle and a sniper in this video I'm gonna use the pistol and the sniper but you could add as many weapons as you want so let's go ahead and drag in the pistol model under the main camera but we need to adjust the transform a little bit we could also hide the heavy weapon to check out this one and I think that's okay then we need to attach the gun script so let's go ahead and add the gun script here we need to reference the FPS camera so we need to drag in the main camera then we can change few settings like the range I'm gonna change it to 10 and let's decrease the impact effect to 100 and let's change the fire rate to 4 then we need to add a reference to the impact effect and the muzzle flash so for the impact effect I'm using this one which is a bullet hole with a few particle system I'm gonna drag it in here but for the muzzle flash we need to drag in one of these I'm gonna use the third one so let's go ahead and add it under the pistol then I'm gonna reset the transform and let's go ahead and adjust the position but first I'm gonna hide this mesh renderer then let's go ahead and move the muzzle flash over here and let's change the scale because it's a little bit big I'm gonna change the scale to 0.2 also I want to hide this bullet so we don't need this bullet model so let's go ahead and hide it then we need to reference the muzzle flash so I'm gonna drag it in here and let's test this weapon as well and yeah it's working so let's go ahead and add the sniper as well the same thing we need to drag in the 3d model let's go ahead and drag in this one I'm gonna use it as the third weapon then let's go ahead and add the gun script also we need to adjust the transform I think that's okay let's go ahead and hide the pistol so that we can test the sniper first let's go ahead and drag in the main camera then the impact effect and I'm gonna use the first muzzle flash let's drag it in here reset the transform then let's go ahead and adjust its position and let's hide the bullet as well now let's go ahead and reference the muzzle flash make sure to add it down here and let's hit play or let's go ahead and change few settings I'm gonna increase the range to 40 and for the fire rate let's go ahead and change it to 2 so we can only shoot 2 times each second let's hit play and yeah it's working the same thing we need to adjust the scale of the muzzle flash in the next video we are going to add the scope effect as well but for now we can only shoot like this so let's go ahead and resize the muzzle flash now we need to be able to switch between these weapons so let's go ahead and create a C-sharp script that handles the weapon switching but first let's go ahead and put them under an empty game object and let's call it weapon switching or let's call it weapons holder and let's go ahead and put all of the weapons under this empty game object and make sure to reset the transform as well now I'm gonna create a weapon switching script under the scripts folder let's right click create C sharp script and let's call it weapon switching then let's go ahead and attach it to the weapons holder and let's open it up in Visual Studio so first of all we need to declare an int that represents the current selected weapon using public int and let's call it selected weapon I'm gonna give it the default value 0 so by default the pistol is the selected weapon that's because the pistol is the first element under this weapons holder you could also change the default weapon to the heavy one so let's go ahead and put this above the pistol after that we need to loop through all of the elements and disable them except the element at the index selected weapon 
and we can use the for each loop so because this weapon switching is attached to the weapons holder we can loop through all of the children using the for each loop for each transform I'm gonna call it weapon in transform then to disable the weapon let's use weapon dot game object and we can use the method set active and let's give it false to disable the weapon but also we need to enable the element at the index selected weapon we can go down here and let's use transform dot get child and here we can pass in the index of the child which is the selected weapon and that's how we can access the element at the index selected weapon and let's go ahead and enable it using dot game object dot set active and here let's give it true now if we save the script and go back into unity as you can see there is no weapon that is selected but if I hit play we have our heavy weapon that is selected by default that's because the weapon switching script is enabling the element at the index selected weapon so let's go ahead and try to change this one I'm gonna change it to 2 which is the index of the sniper and let's hit the play to test it again and yeah it's actually working but if I use the mouse wheel we can't switch between these weapons so we are going to add this functionality right now basically we are going to use the new input system so if you didn't watch the video about the new input system go ahead and check it out first we need to use the namespace using unity engine dot input system then we need to declare an input action so let's go ahead and use input action then we need to give it a name you can call it scroll or let's call it switching then let's go ahead and initialize it in the start method using switching equals new input action the first parameter is the name I'm gonna call it switching as well or let's call it scroll then we need to give it a binding a binding is the trigger for the action so in order to switch between different weapons we are going to use the mouse wheel so let's go ahead and pass in mouse then slash and scroll also we need to be able to switch between the weapons using the gamepad and for that we can add another binding using switching dot add binding and I'm gonna use the d-pad on the gamepad so let's pass in gamepad then slash and d-pad also we need to enable the input action using switching dot enable now we can get the input using this switching input action so let's go under the update method and to read the input from the scroll wheel we use switching dot read value first we need to give it the type basically it returns a vector 2 I don't know why because we can get the input with one value so let's go ahead and use a debug.log to understand this type of input using debug.log then let's pass in the input let's save the script and go back into unity and if I hit play as you can see by default it returns a zero vector but if I rotate the mouse wheel forward you see that the y input is positive and if I rotate it backward you see it returns a negative value like minus 120 so we are going to use that to switch between the weapons and it's the y component so let's declare a float I'm gonna call it scroll value and let's set it equals to the switching dot read value but we need to access the y component using dot y so let's go ahead and use this value so if the scroll value is greater than zero then we need to increment the selected weapon index using selected weapon plus plus but if we go beyond the maximum number of weapons we need to reset it to zero using if selected weapon equals three in our case because we have three weapons in that case we need to give it back to zero using selected weapon equals zero and the same thing we need to check if it's negative using else if scroll value if it's less than zero in that case we are going to decrement the selected weapon using selected weapon minus minus and the same thing we need to check for the borders using if selected weapon so if it's minus one then we need to change it to the last element using selected weapon equals two then we need to loop through all of the elements disable them and enable the element at the index selected weapon again 
But instead of copying this over here, let's go ahead and create a separate function. I'm going to cut all of these. Then let's go down here. I'm going to declare private void and let's call it select weapon. Then let's paste all of the lines of code and then we can call it in the start method over here. And we can call it down here. So if we change the current selected weapon, let's go ahead and call it. But the only problem with this is that we are calling this select weapon over and over again. So we only need to change the current selected weapon when the selected weapon is changed. And for that, we can go over here and use int previous selected. And let's set it equals the selected weapon. Then after we take the inputs, we're going to check if we have changed the selected weapon. In that case, we need to call this method. And to do that, we are going to use if the previous selected is not equals the current selected one using selected weapon. In that case, we need to call this method. So let's go ahead and put it under this if statement. Now let's go ahead and save the script. But first, I need to add this semicolon. Then let's hit play. As you can see by default, the sniper is the selected weapon. That's because we've changed the selected weapon to 2 by default. And if I use the mouse wheel, as you can see, I can switch between these. The same thing if I rotate the wheel backward. So that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss any one of my next videos. And I will see you in the next one.